Local residents had um, an opportunity to ask questions to the Cabinet. Um, unfortunately, the Council are still deciding to go ahead with the project, so um, they have offered a consultation process, and hopefully the consultation process will be fruitful. Um, we've so far got 400 petitions against these proposed developments. Hi, my name is Sheila Whitney. Um, I live on Kibber at Park Close. Um, we have lived there now for getting on 15 years. I'm 85. I want to uh, have a nice, peaceful rest of my life. I never dreamed this for that. I looked at the Pocket Homes website and they are building them, from what I can believe, what I can read, to the absolute minimum specification of size. There is apparently a legal size that you can call a one bedroom flat. And these are bang on the limit. And it's not going to talk about families. You can't put a family, mum, dad and a child, in a one bedroom flat. So I can't see it. And it was supposed to be people on the list, on the housing list. But it turns out that's a buy. Firstly, one of the biggest issues for all the residents is um, the density of the proposed um, developments because um, there are existing parking sites and garages which um, are obviously a problem for the residents because they'll take away the parking space and bring more residents in. Um, there's also an issue of the social housing because these, these plots of land have been set, sold to private developers pocket living and they're building tiny houses um, which are 38 metres squared, one bedroom flats, but no social housing is being provided. Uh, we found out about it um, through a friend who found out about it through another friend who was a friend of a councillor. Um, that's how, you know, um, that was the first we knew about it. Um, and it so came nothing across, official? No, nothing official. We still have had nothing official. Now the council is telling us that this money generated from the sale of the land will be used to build other council properties, but the council at the moment have decided to spend £65 million pounds buying property on the open market. Now what this means, buying private property, it means that they're spending more money when building is cheaper. So when you already have land existing, and you sell it and buy on the open market, that's actually more expensive. And secondly, it fuels the local market. So what we need to do is hold on to public land and build on this. Uh, two weeks ago, a neighbour put a little letter in my door. He'd heard from another neighbour that they're thinking of building flats on our estate. Uh, 46 dwellings. And I've certainly tried to work it out. Um, 23 either end and no way can I work it out and to be one bedroom flats they'd have to be rabbit hutches because the whole area is only 38 metres I think the way the council have handled it is absolutely diabolical um, it comes across as almost a foregone conclusion you know how have pocket homes been given so much access that they can come up with a proposal what about everyone else? Any development has to have the backing of the residents and it should be um, with a ballot which has been rejected so far by the council. And if there is any development at all on public land, it should be should maximise social housing. Um, so we should have a minimum of at least 50% social housing on any development on, on public land. It's so little. You've got the one out to the people park road and the one back. You've got them parked on the left, outside their own houses, good luck. But the, the in and out, if somebody's come that way, you have to stop. I mean, the dustmen have a heck of a job each week. So I think everything's stacked against it. And it's come along and it's going to upset people's lives. I don't think they thought about the community in Kibber Park Close. I think they have walked around the close. They have seen two prime, two prime spots to sell off, and that's about it. I don't think they've given any thought to the community, to the residents at all. I can't be retired. Well, we sit there till three in the morning now. Yeah, we sit and talk, and I'm we talking. can't believe it. I cannot believe it. I think it's coming of this man's work, it's all he life. And then. Today, just the beginning 
of, um, of, of, a of, of this process of campaigning to um, get the council to change their minds. So hopefully we'll get a, a, a good showing at the public meeting on, on Monday the 3rd of September um, so that we can get all the, all, all the knowledge locally, all the residents locally to help each other to build a campaign and move it on into the future so that we have a forum so whenever there are housing issues we're able to come together and discuss these um, projects.